Hey soul family, what's going on? This is the Phoenix Cloud Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Isa. I'm your friendly neighborhood intuitive oracle slash tarot reader and I'm doing the darn thing today for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Cross Watcher. This is a little thing I like to call the love quickie. So we're going to do this quickly. We're going to look at your energy, their energy, the mutual energy between the two of you and any sort of uh, challenges or hidden factors in your connection right now okay so uh this is very general that means not all of the messages are going to resonate for every single person so take what resonates for you and you know that because it just hits differently yes i did just fix my wig directly in front of you love my wigs anyway so um yes you know what that is for you because you're going to feel that strong intuitive pull toward oh yes that's what I think is happening or, oh yes, this is what I know what is happening. Okay. So take what resonates for you, leave what does not. It's probably for the next person. Um, if nothing resonates at all here in your sun sign cancer, then please feel free to check your moon rising and Venus. If you know what that is. All right. And last but not least, if you like this video, please smash my love button. Show me some love. Okay, guys, that's how I operate. I operate off of love. That's no longer a like button. We ain't out here like and stuff no more it's 2021 we in love with life we're in love with everything right so go ahead smash my love button and please subscribe support my channel become part of the tribe okay let's get into it i'm excited i don't i'm excited to do my readings today cancer how do you feel about this person and spirit was already like look we moving on okay <laughs> these cards just came flying out Ooh, all right okay so we've got two of swords justice and ace of cups oh you really love this person very much you could even be married to them or want a higher level of commitment um i feel like this is a decision like you're making or you just decided or you need to make okay um there's a lot of love here like i said and you have justice so you have uh marriage higher commitment that type of vibe all right um with two of swords Libra energy, um, yeah, does, is it balanced? Does it fit right? That's what I just got very strongly. Does this fit right? Okay, so let's look at their energy and see what's going on. I know y'all are like the wig though. I know it's crazy. Some people that uh, come here all the time are gonna be like, oh, the wigs are back. Listen, for a while I was just not wearing the wigs, but I'm in the mood too, okay? My daughter just got me this cute little Betty Page. All right, I love it. They're just fun. They're just fun. Okay, let's talk about this person's energy, please. They could. Are you dealing with a Libra or you have a lot of Libra in your chart? Oh, okay. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. What else? How does this person feel? Oh, the nostalgia. Okay. How does this person feel? King of Swords. King of Wands. This person's serious about you. They think about you a lot. They have a lot of passion for you with the Six of Cups. This could be a reconciliation. So you guys could be getting back together or um, you've been together before or you know each other from childhood. Uh, one of you could be older than the other is what I'm getting. There could be some distance since I just saw the Eight of Wands. All right, but um, there's a lot of like passionate talk between the two of you. Um, this person is a serious person, okay? Um, they could be a little bit in their head about the connection, but I'm not feeling that very strong. Strongly. It's just a person who really knows what they want with the King of Swords. Um, and there's a lot of like reminiscing or like feeling young. They could even feel like you uh, have a twin flame energy here. Strong passion with the King of Wands. Okay, let's talk about the mutual energy between Cancer and their person. Mutual energy, okay, this is interesting. Death, eight of uh, pentacles or coins, and the seven of wands, okay. So there's a little bit of like protective, defensive energy, but also you guys are working on a lot of stuff here. With death, things are changing, okay. So something is ending, you're working on something and setting uh, healthy boundaries. I feel like somebody has a lot of suitors that they could be fighting off or something like that, okay. 
there's a choice here. I wouldn't be surprised if like a, a seven of cups eventually comes out, but I feel like this is a connection that you guys have had to work for. Um, you may have had to overcome a lot of things, even people saying things about it with the seven of wands. You see all these wands here. It's like uh, people being like, oh, whatever, like, ew, don't you think this? Don't you think that? Like people saying uh, things, okay? Um, there is a lot of love here. I feel like, uh, cancer, you feel like this could be the one person for you. Okay. So let's talk about the challenge or something that's hidden here. The challenge right now. I think I just saw the 10 of wands. I'm going to go get that. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the three of swords. Okay. Yeah, we have the 10 of wands. So the challenge is letting go of some heavy energy, and this could be heartbreak in the past. If you guys are back together uh, from, you know, let's say you all dated a while ago or you were talking to each other at some point because I have a page of swords at the bottom, it could represent spying, finding out more information. But it feels like you guys were like, it's like y'all were together in high school or something and like something happened then, okay? So it's sort of like, can we move this along into something bigger? Um, we're going to have to work through the things that have happened, things that were said or things that were done. Okay. So the challenging energy is deciding to let go of this heavy, uh, burdens, wands energy. And it could just be that, you know, both of you just have a lot on your plate right now and sort of like moving some of that energy out of the way allows you to be able to go deeper into your, um, into each other's energy and the commitment level. Okay. So let's take a look at what this two of swords words is about you feel like they're making a decision about something okay or you're hopeful of that and it could also be you what's this two of swords about please yes okay that's what i'm talking about uh knight of pentacles five of swords so you could feel or you know, feel free to reverse it. What I'm getting here is that there is a commitment. It's been taking time. Okay. It's, the, you know, Knight of Pentacles is the slowest energy. Why is he the slowest energy? Because he's the guy who's like got a lot to think about in his future. Okay. Um, and he is very practical. He makes uh, the best decision that he knows to make by weighing out everything, looking at all of his options. He's got all this land, okay? He's surveying the land. He's seeing, you know, the possibilities of what he's going to invest into for the long term, okay? I always call this guy the guy who's surveying the land, right? He's looking. He's checking it out to see what can I build and create there. Okay. The decision is about making that long-term commitment. Okay. But what's happening is somebody is getting in their head about it. All right. With the five of swords. So there could be talk about it. And when it comes up, it just seems like it's really sticky. But what you don't know, I think is that this person could be really considering it or wanting it. Okay. They just need to get out of their head about it and stop trying to like, what's in it for me. Okay. What's in it for me. A lot of people think like that. What's in it for me? They could be afraid of letting go um, with that three of cups, letting go of uh, friendships and things that will change. Okay, so they could have concern over that. What is this justice here for? Yeah, six of wands, okay? So winning that higher commitment, all right? Um, they, I think they want that with you big time. They want to, it's like they're choosing that, okay? But they've been back and forth. Libra energy is, you know, it can be, it's about getting balance, right? Getting out of your head into your heart. Why else is justice here? That went almost directly into my coffee. Yeah, look, justice again. They're, okay, so they want a higher level of commitment or you want the higher level of commitment. Somebody wants it here and somebody's gonna offer it, 
okay so they're winning over whatever that back and forth energy has been going on inside of their head or you are the person who has had an offer made to you and you are considering this and this you know is taking you having to put some things behind you in the process okay tell me why we have king of wands here please why do we have king of wands here for their person okay so we have three of pentacles working well and letting go of stuff okay like i said this person wants you to take action or they are taking action on releasing an old energy here whatever that is it could be jobs it could be people it could be old hurts okay with the three of swords or heartbreak that was created somehow between the two of you okay this person is letting go of that they have the also the three of pentacles this is moving forward in a connection it's like you know y'all are thinking about the wallpaper you might be moving in with each other okay it's things moving forward you're going higher into this level of commitment why is the six of cups here Oh, okay. Okay. So <clears throat> six of cups, this is reminiscing over uh, missing something in the past. Okay. So there could have been some abandonment here. Maybe somebody abandoned this connection. Um, it could have been because they got somebody else pregnant. Okay, or maybe they're like if you guys are getting back together, why this split up in the past is because um, somebody maybe chose another person and left the other person out in the cold. Okay, um, that's very, very interesting. And that could be what some of this hurt is that I'm feeling. Why is the King of Swords here? Okay, nine of wands, yes. They, they know that you're defensive or you know that they're defensive over this. There's still that energy there of being very wounded with the nine of wands, okay? And there's just a need to talk about this and clear this up before you guys go into a higher level of commitment. But I think you're either you're offering it or they're offering it now over, it's been a long term. So we could already have some of this energy cleared up between you guys. There was some hurts here, okay? Um, and either they need to be cleared up to move forward or they're being cleared up now it's being addressed tell me why we have death here for the mutual energy this really feels like transformation it's scorpionic energy bam the magician yeah a big major change you guys have all the tools to make these changes um, and you have here the apprentice with the eight of coins this is somebody really busting their ass on this okay so in the mutual energy you guys feel like this is worth it you want to you know do whatever work you want to bring this together you'll do whatever it takes tell me about the seven of wands Queen of Swords telling the truth, being honest with each other about um, these, these feelings, these thoughts, okay, with the Eight of Swords. It doesn't feel, I keep wanting to say trapped, but it's not trapped. It's somebody being stuck in that old energy okay they don't have to be they can easily kind of get out of their thoughts about this um and they need to okay so that defensive energy is there because somebody's got their guard up for something that's happened in the past either between you two or outside of this connection okay but there is the mutual energy of working on this sorry just checking my time working on this Okay, and you guys have everything available to you to uh, make this connection work 100%. Okay, so why is the Ten of Wands the challenging energy? And again, I feel like I'm repeating myself and saying this is that heavy energy of letting go of stuff in the past. Yeah, Ten of Swords, it's a betrayal, it's a hurt, it's an old cycle that just needs to die. And it could be for both of you because now I got a Ten of Wands and a Ten of Swords. Okay. So putting this to rest once and for all is what I feel like to start a new cycle, okay? It's like the world energy. It's communicating about it. It's talking about it. This is the challenging energy. If you let this, if you let old pain, old hurts, heavy things be the, the conversation, the thing that the energy is focused on in this relationship, it's going to create 
a, a lot of challenges, okay? Why do we have the two of coins in this challenging energy? Thank you. The star, okay? This is choosing the healing. Are you going to heal it? Are you going to keep rehashing something or being stuck in this energy, okay? The star is about wishes and dreams coming true. And the two of pentacles can represent somebody going back and forth, juggling, you know, juggling energy, maybe knowing that they need to let go of stuff and feeling like I don't really know what I need to do here. But somebody really knows. Somebody really knows, okay? And with the star, it's choosing the wishes, the hopes, and the dreams, okay? It's choosing the dream come true. And it's also like this is being divinely guided. So trust, okay? Trust that this will all work out. It's safe for you to, you know, give to this person, to love this person, because I think they're in it for the long haul, you know? They might have done something to hurt you or maybe hurts from the past, you know, are, are things that are an issue for you or your person. But like we go through those to learn to not bring that energy into the future, right? It has no purpose in our relationships now. Okay. So really, really nice. And we have the full leap of faith at the bottom of the deck. All right. Somebody's ready to take the leap. And what do we have here from the romance angels, romantic feelings. I love it. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. I think you have a lot of love between the two of you and we also have engagement. So yes, your relationship, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment here, okay? Your commitment level is going up, all right? So you guys could be like moving in, you know, or this is like you're ready or they're ready to take this to another level, okay? But in order for that to happen, there's got to be some energies that move out of the way, okay? It's like self-realization, you know what I'm saying? Like you have to realize if you're pulling certain energies into a connection with you and how some of them can be in service and some of them are not in service, right? Okay, cool. So thank you so, so much, Cancer, for allowing me to do this reading for you. It looks like y'all going to secure the bag, get the ring, all right? But some stuff needs to happen here, okay? So um, I do thank you so much if you guys, if, you, if this resonated for you at all, if any of the messages you know, touched your heart, you got a little nugget from it, please go ahead, smash my love button, show me some love, return some energy, and go ahead and subscribe. All right, guys, until I see you again soon. Bye.